And in fact, in a video posted on Combs' YouTube channel just a year or so later, Bieber looks, what I believe, uncomfortable interacting with the rapper. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother. Everything's good? Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything? Yeah, Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you're... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin Bieber's visit with Combs wasn't the first time the music executive had a rising star at his home. R&B icon Usher is the one who actually signed Bieber to the record label, and Combs was the one who produced Usher's first album. So Usher said during an interview with Howard Stern back in 2016 that his year living with Combs as a teenager was intense. It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty La, I, mean, I, sure I just answer. took a flick, sent it over now, and it's viral when it's lit. Yeah. We gon' go live. Gon Stack it to the ceiling. Don't care what they feeling. We gon' get this money now. We, we gon' go, go live. I just took a flick, yeah. sent it over now, and it's viral when it's lit.